Have you ever heard of gynecomastia? I had it. And if, okay, so did you have that fixed? Yes, I did. And did that make you feel affirmed in your gender and comfortable no, in your body? No, no. Hello, guys. What's up, YouTube? How are you guys doing? Um, we're going to be checking out um, Biology's Conference Frank on gender theory. Still the gender again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Let's dive into this video and let's see how it goes. Let's go. Have you ever heard of gynecomastia? I had it. And if, okay, so did you have that fixed? Yes, I did. And did that make you feel affirmed in your gender and comfortable no, in your body? No, when I was in the Navy, nobody knows this, by the way. Jesus, <laughs> now I'm revealing my, I need a HIPAA form to sign here or something. Okay, let's go. What do you have to say for people who don't fit in your definition of man or woman? I'm a biologist. Mm -hmm. I understand the biology. Are you she's, saying that a woman she's is a only biologist. a person who has two X chromosomes and a man who is someone who only has an X and a Y chromosome. I think that's the scientific definition. Yes. It's actually not because there can be people with XXY. There can be Y chromosome mm -hmm. inactivation. The way that this biology works mm -hmm. is that you have genes. Those mm -hmm. genes make proteins. Those proteins develop the traits that you define as men and women. They develop the features that you define as male. They develop the genitalia, mm -hmm. but you can be a woman with female genitalia and be XY. You can be a man, but you could oh you can God. have XX chromosomes. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about, Grace. You're talking about a very rare condition known as intersexed. One right. in 100 people experience chromosomal differences in sex. Okay, but not one in 100 have different genitalia or ambiguous genitalia. Mm -hmm. And what do you say to those people? Well, what you say is that's a situation that is not the norm. We're not saying that they're not people, obviously. As I understand it, maybe you know more about it than me, uh, when you do have a truly intersexed person, at, at that point, either the parents or when they're old enough, they can decide which way they're going to orient themselves and they can get the appropriate surgery. But that's not what we're experiencing so in our culture. It's okay for people to decide their gender. In that situation, but that's not what we're talking about in our culture. What we're talking about in our culture are people with perfectly normal functioning sexual organs trying to have them removed and trying to transition to another gender, which is impossible scientifically. Have you ever doubted that you're a man? Mm hmm. You've doubted that you... Oh, have I ever doubted I'm a man? No, I have never doubted then I'm a man. Then what do you say to a transgender person who has never doubted their gender? You're saying that we all change and that obviously transgenderism is a product For of real? some kind of phase, but you've never doubted that you're a man. So no, where's, I'm, your, look, where's your development of this change? Grace, I'm not denying there are people truly with gender dysphoria. I've already said that. What I'm saying is, is the way out of that problem is not surgery according to the data. Okay. Psychiatry is the way out of that. Problem. I also don't agree with your statement that after surgery, you implied that transgender people are more likely to commit suicide after surgery. But the statistics say that transgender people are more likely to commit suicide because of people like, because of arguments that you make that they're invalid. No, I'm and not I'm saying, saying they're, they're invalid. invalid. I'm just saying that you implied that it's the surgery that's causing suicide No, it's rates. not. Uh, what yeah, I'm, I'm saying, saying is the surgery doesn't fix anything. That's the point. Mm -hmm. The same, it's practically the same rate, whether they have the surgery or not. If you woke up and grew breasts today, would you would like them to be removed? There are many. Say that again. <laughs> have you ever heard of gynecomastia? I had it. And if, okay, so did you have that fixed? Yes, I did. And did that make you feel affirmed in your gender and comfortable no, in your body? No, when I was in the Navy, nobody knows this, by the way. Jesus, <laughs> now I'm revealing my, I need a HIPAA form to sign here or something. You don't have to talk no, about it. No, what, what, what I'm saying is, yes, I've had that myself and, and, and okay. had it surgically removed when I was in the Navy. Yeah. And do you feel more comfortable in your body and more affirmed in your gender because of that? Well, it wasn't a gender thing for me. It was the fact, well, I can't even get into it now because it had nothing to do with my gender, okay? And so it, 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 it had to do with a, this is looking, it had to do with the fact that this looks like a trap. really odd. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. It looks like a trap. Okay. But Grace, my point is, is if we truly care about people, are we going to try and force them down a road, particularly as children, into a solution to a problem which is proven not to be a solution. 
You just said that having that surgery made you feel better about yourself. No, I'm, that has nothing to do with transgender surgery. I, think, I, I wasn't. Think, I wasn't changing my sex. I was having breast tissue removed. Mm. Okay, I, I was always a man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. And say that I have XY chromosomes, but I'm born with female genitalia and female body types, but I believe I'm a man. Should I not be allowed to have that breast tissue well, removed? As an adult, you can do whatever you want. Yes, that's M fine. My problem is with the children. That's, mm -hmm. that's, where, that's where I'm having a real problem. Is there a I, magic button at 18 that instantly makes you feel like you know who you are and absolutely what your gender is? I don't no, well, that's... I think for women, it's probably like 15. For men, it's 37. <laughs> To be honest with you, okay? Because men don't develop as quickly as women, all right? Yeah, but true. No, no, we've just chosen 18 kind of as the, the adulthood crossing point, although for some issues it's 21, like drinking, okay? So, no, maybe it's later than 18, okay? My big problem, and I would say this to somebody who's 37, that the surgery does not appear to help anyone. And if you want more data on this, you can go to sexchangeregret.com, sexchangeregret.com. But I wouldn't even be talking about this issue unless I thought the current way the culture is going is hurting people. And it is. Hmm. Why, why would I bring all this abuse on myself? Hmm. I'd just like to say that I disagree. Okay. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Wow. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is insane. I feel like the culture is really changing, like for real, the culture is changing, is changing. How can, <laughs> how can I be born with X and Y chromosomes and you want me to be a female? Why? This is biology working with your physical appearance. If you are born with a male chromosome, automatically you are, you are male. If you are born with a female chromosome, automatically you are female. You are a woman. I don't see how you can be born with a male chromosome and see a female genitals. How, how is that possible? Okay, I know that statistics shows that there is... Um, gender um, mutations and maybe a little bit of gender problems but those that actually go do the surgeries and maybe change their gender some of them might have this kind of um, regrets you know and as he said the the world is changing and <laughs> the culture of the world is really 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 changing and it's scaring me. It's scaring me myself because I don't know when I'm I, I'm filling a form and somebody's asking me what's your chromosomes, or somebody's asking me what's your gender, or I feel like okay, there's male, there's female, and they'll be like others, and be like specify or don't mention. Why? The world is really going crazy. It's going really, 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 really crazy, and I just want everybody to stay out soon there because you have to make sure you listen to the right thing because if you listen to the wrong thing you can be so manipulated and it will be so hard for you to come out of it because you are just literally manipulated so make sure you listen carefully what you hear like make sure you you don't just take everything you hear outside because this kind of question he was she was literally setting a trap for the man and if not that the man was smart like jesus if not frank was smart he would have been gone. Like the girl would have defeated him without arguments because she, the way she was asking the question, she was just asking it so tactical and she knew where she was going. And at the end, she, she didn't agree with the, with the arguments. She didn't agree with the debates and that's how she left it. So the last word I'm going to say is that this, like this word now is for our culture and make sure you stay safe out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching and watching for more. We're going to come back with more. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's push this channel to 30K. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace and God bless you.